Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. And today is going to be a good episode because today we're going to finally get our hub fully upgraded to tier 5 or yeah, tier 5 so we can actually get space elevator and all that fun stuff. But today what we're going what we're going to do today is actually get some automation going. I have gone ahead and made some concrete. Uh, we do have to pick up the miners. I got to actually get some other stuff made. Uh, I want to try to get out of this. Do I? Oh yeah, I already made up all the ingots. Haha. -ha. I was somewhat, somewhat prepared today. So we're going to make a whole bunch of rods. I'm going to run over here and not into a wall. Uh, I did check to make sure the burner's working. Oh, they actually showed up this time. Cool. Texture has been resolved. So we're going to run over here. We're going to pick this guy up. Oh, we're going to put the uh, build a miner here. So pick that up. And not enough space for what? I have no idea. Now I've been thinking about how I want to get this set up. And more or less I want to try to get the smelters all lined up in the same spot and then maybe move the, them move the, the smelt from the smelters to other production areas and whatnot. But we'll figure that out as we go. But first let's go ahead and build some foundation. Uh where would be a good place to set this up? Probably right here. Uh wanna make sure that we actually have ground that doesn't start clipping in, so let's start right there and start building out. I gotta keep remembering that I don't have a jetpack. Oh, that was in the wrong spot. Always is. Yes. Uh, and I gotta hot bar everything again too. That's gonna be fun. And I'm just doing this to make sure everything lines up a little, lot easier. And we go from there. Should be good for now. So let's go up here and we'll place our first miner down. And go to production. I like that. You can actually run run while you're in the menu. Hmm. Right here should be good. I checked the power output too. I have enough power to run three miners and three smelters. So that is gonna go there. I what do I need for conveyors? I think it's just plates right now. Uh, logistics, yes. Oop plates so I have to make a whole bunch of iron plates I think yes I do so give me a moment and I will actually make sure I have everything I need I made some more concrete too I picked up some more uh, limestone earlier uh, I'll probably give me time to go empty that out again so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna expand this a little bit and I find it interesting how the price for both foundations is exactly the same okay the reason why I'm doing this too is because I want to get those extra containers in here. Because I do have storage containers. So we are going to... Let's see. That one's coming from this direction. What we'll do is we'll try to have them all lined up like this. Now I think the smelter and the constructors are actually the same length. Let me line this up. There. Same width as the, the foundations. So that might actually help and I'm only gonna do three here we got the copper down there I want to get this down here as well uh, we'll figure that one out in a second so these these are gonna go in here and then we're gonna get some smelters where are they smelter there and there nope not there is that one in the right spot Yes, it is. All right, let's try this again. Run over here. And perfect. Good. Clear time. There. And uh, new. Helps this is in the right spot. That's why they have those little green lines. They don't help you if you don't actually pay attention to them. No, they do not. Okay. So now we can go up here. And grab our iron mine up here. Uh, there's going to be more than one going down there, so I might as well get those extra ones in place as it is. 
All right, uh, let's see if we can actually get down into here from here. Oh, I can. Perfect. All right, so that's our first iron. This is going to go into iron ingots. We go and, nope, not copper, no iron. Okay, um, we got to get one over on the limestone and one on the copper. Actually, you know what? I'm going to need the iron more than anything, so maybe we'll get two of these going. Hmm, where should I put the other one? So I got another one back here. I gotta make another miner. Let me go grab the miner and I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. So we're gonna drop this one over here. And we're gonna turn this one this way. Uh, let's see if that's a good spot. One more. We've got some conveyors. We'll come along here. Uh, like so. And then so. And I'm out of plates. So I'm going to have to get some more plates, and I will be right back. Okay, I got some more plates. Uh, I was t talking about how this area's got a lot of iron. As as you can see, we got these ones here, and we got those two over there. But on the other side of this hill, probably 200 meters or so, there's at least two. I think there might be four more iron nodes over there. They're, again, they're impure, but it don't matter. If you got enough of it, impure doesn't really matter at all. Just gotta go bigger. Okay, are you actually gonna reach? Perfect. Alright, now we need power. Actually, it's already there, so is that pole? That's line, perfect. Actually, I gotta do a pole, but we can do the pole right off of here. Uh, we'll do that, and we'll do that, 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 that. And then, uh, let's see here. One there. And then one over here. And this is the drawback with these things. It's right. These ones, anyways, you can only have four connections for each one. And so when you carry it on to another area, you're only getting three. And I need more cable. Yes, I do. But that's fine. I also made a whole bunch of biomass, or, yeah, biomass, something like six stacks, so we are good on that, so let's go ahead and make uh, a little bit more cable, and run over here. Now, I want to know why we can't just craft stuff like that by hand, why we actually need to do some, use that thing. Uh, okay, and let's see, you can come down here and then we gotta do another one too uh hmm guess there's fine actually no we don't actually need that one i forgot <laughs> those don't actually need power all right let's get rid of that and then we get back to yield power line one there and there and there and there and then there and there all right so now all we gotta do is add fuel Yes, I know I blew the few, blew the breaker. Not a problem. Okay, you and uh, where are, where is the other one? There it is. All right, let's see what we have to work with here. Oh, I like that they actually show the specific numbers here. Oh yeah. Uh, I gotta set the recipe in the other guy here. Uh, iron should be coming down pretty quick. Alright, so that's that. And then, like I said, these will fill up in case the smelter fills up or whatever is behind the smelter fills up. So there's always, always, always iron going through. What is going on here? Slow conveyors, that's what's going on. Okay, so let's go see what the copper situation's like. Uh, do I have enough of that miner? Let's see here. Yes, I do. Alright, let's run over to the copper. Uh, I actually gotta make some more wire and stuff like that, so I shall return. Okay, so I got some more wire hit up. I made some more concrete. Uh, I've been thinking about just expanding that platform like all the way out to here, because 
Uh, we do have the copper up here to get on there. We have limestone. We have more iron across the way we got to deal with. And I'm going to try to grab some of this every time I come by because you never know. Never know we're going to be too lazy to deal with it when the time comes. So let's go and pick this thing up. Pick you up and drop you down. Well, last time I went around this way, but I think I think I'm gonna go here. And then same thing as yeah, same thing before. Same thing before. I need plates. Fortunately, actually, what we can do. And uh, no, we can do this. Uh, fortunately, I have stuff being smelted automatically for me. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, okay, I did grab it. Good. Okay, you want to grab the power line for me? I'm out of cable. Of course I am. I'm out of everything. That's why we need mass production going. Soon, soon, soon. It's going to be 20 smelters there. And 300 constructors over there. Okay, let's go in cable. Plenty of cable. Oh, I'm gonna go grab some plates. I need a lot of conveyors too. Oh, that's what I forgot. Uh, sm smelters don't have any output. Okay, there, 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 and there. Okay, containers. I need plates for containers, so. Uh, let me make some, cook up some uh, parts here, and I shall return. Okay, I made a hundred plates. This should be enough to do everything. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna have storage containers at the end here, so all the ingots will go into here and for backlog purposes. Okay, one there, and uh, more rods. I think I got ingots right there. Ha ha ha. You know what? Uh, where are you? Uh, oh, I can't even make one of those. I'm going to place one down there so I'm not running back and forth all the time. Let's get into the habit of trying to have a few of those around, but uh, you saw that mess. It's kind of hard to find them. So I'll make one of those. We'll just do that because I want to build one, put one down here. Uh, just until I get a jetpack at least. Or high speed conveyors. Uh, we are going to place you right there for now. Uh, I can go in here and actually make more rods. Okay, now we're going to make a container. Like that. Grab some more conveyors. Do -do -do -do. There, there, and there, there. So now we just get iron and pot iron in there. We don't have to worry about that backing up. Good. Now for the copper. And I do have everything set up. I probably will expand that more. I just got to figure out where it's all going to go. Uh, copper's going to be coming from here. I got limestone coming from there. So maybe. Nope. Uh, I can't wait to get the chainsaw so I can get rid of this stuff. But I want to keep this in line. So let's just bring it down for now because it's cheaper on the limestone currently. And I think it comes in from there. And I can always move stuff afterwards. So we'll do that. Uh, actually, I should probably get some more down. Just because I'm going to have to make some more, I can tell. Okay, so that's two. What do we got? Five. That's yeah, three. Uh, come on. Four. And... It's all she wrote. Now hopefully I have enough for the power poles. Okay, let's run back up here. And grab some more leaves along the way. Just because we can. Make ourselves useful, right? Oh, I gotta do the conveyors too. I totally forgot about that. Uh, okay, do that. And then, we'll just run her along here. 
I really should be trying to maximize the length on these things so I'm saving on some concrete. That limestone is so expensive, don't you know? And you know what? Let's actually put a pole here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. No, let's go a little higher. That way if I'm ever driving around, if I ever drive around, at least I can get a myth. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Aha, I found you. Can't afford. We'll see about that. See, I told you, you could I could afford it. So now we go on this side here and see, uh, I think. Actually, let's get another pole, I think. We'll go like this. And up one. This way, so I can get underneath without having to jump around them or climb on them or anything like that. Excuse me. I want to take you. I'm out of concrete. What do you know? What do you oh, wait. I think I actually grabbed some. Yeah, I did. So we'll go ahead and make that. It got super easy to make. I do definitely have to get a constructor going on this stuff like ASAP. Alright, uh, conveyor. Nope, that's not what I want. I actually want a conveyor pull. No, I don't. I actually want the conveyor belt. Yes. Okay, and you are going to go. Let's put you right about here. Okay, now we need container. Yes, storage container. Now, I want to have this all in line with everything else. So I think... I think I had it right here. Oh, I think I need more iron rods. Okay, I should have everything this time. Should. Uh, do I have concrete on me? I do. Uh, what was this? Four? Yeah, we gotta go one more. And come on. Never snaps when you want it to. Alright, organization, storage container. And I was gonna put it right here. Uh, hold on, hold on, where are you? Not snapping to the right spot. Because I'm not on the right tile. There we go. All right, storage container, smelter. Okay, and then another storage container. Like a so. A player is in the way. Well, kill him, get him out of the way. And that should be it right there. Okay. A conveyor, we will go. I'll be back in the jiffy. So now we just go and connect that to there, uh, that to there, and that to there. Now you are going to be copper. Now we need to get some more power going. Now I think I actually had a way to get underneath this conveyor. Yes, I did. Now I think I actually had. A connection on here, I do. Let's bring it around the back. Okay, and then we go over here, over the bushes, and I think I should be able to connect right from here. Aha! Copper's coming. Nope. It's not, it's not, it's not. Because I gotta get that hooked up. You know what? I think I actually have one left on here. No, I don't. Okay, let's, uh. You know what we can do? Because we're gonna have a grid going, anyways. Put one there, one here, and then we'll even put one. Nowhere. I'm just hook it up. So there we go. 
now everything is all connected. Let's check the fuel supply. Uh, fuel supply is doing good. I'm only generating 23 right now, but not everything's running, so we'll see how that goes. Let's go see where our copper is at. So I know that's actually hooked up to the system now, or the, to the grid. Right, show me. There it is. We. This is so fast. There we go. So now we got iron going. We got copper going. Uh, everything should be more or less ready over there for me to get the next tier going. So I'm not gonna actually set up the crafters or anything like that. I actually want to get these other biomass generators going because we're gonna be running out of fuel pretty or running out of power pretty soon. Once that other smelter gets going, then we're gonna be down to very little. So I am going to what was I going to do? I was gonna get some more iron made. I grabbed that limestone too. I'm gonna see if I can fill more of this foundation in. So let me get everything ready for the next upgrade and we'll continue on. Okay, I am almost done just crafting up the last of the wire here and we should be able to get to the final upgrade. So yes, just enough wire. Perfect. Uh, now that that's actually running, let's see how the power grid's doing. 27. So I could probably get a miner going and set up with a constructor on the limestone, which I think we'll probably end up doing. Uh, but this is actually going to unlock the, the the extra biomass burner, which is going to make things so much more easier. Because we get more power and do a whole lot more. I used all my concrete. Of course I did. And I was trying to expand this and it's going to take a while, so that's why I want to definitely get a couple of containers at least of this stuff going. Get some good backlog. But this should be enough and fortunately it's actually really easy to craft really quick. Uh, I have a feeling by the time this, ser this series is done or at least this playthrough because after we play through this map there's two other maps I'm going to check out. There's a desert map and then there's a mountain map which add a bit of variety to to the game uh, but uh, yeah I, I my mind just drew a blank there anyway uh, oh yeah I was gonna say by the end of this this first playthrough anyways on this map there's gonna be like a million crafting benches everywhere just because I know that's how it's gonna be all right so there's our our concrete and our plates, and uh, there we go, our upgrade. Now where is this thing? Is it actually gonna come down? There it is. Don't hit me. Get me off this rock, away from me. Yada, 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 shut up. All right, so there we go, we have everything. We have MAM, so we can actually start getting our power slugs going. Uh, we could probably, could probably actually get some of the this stuff going here. Come on, come in, give me, give me. Take that. Yes, we'll process, uh, scan this because I think this actually gets us something good. So we'll do that. Start scanning seven and a half minutes for that. And there we go. So everything is going. Uh, all right should top this up pretty quick power is still doing stable so let's go ahead and first see if we have enough for another miner we don't and a constructor I actually have enough for a constructor because I made some extra reinforced plates uh, what did I need I needed rods do I have any iron on me no I don't that's fine because I have containers full of it over here Run all the way back here. Grab a stack of iron. Make some rods. And now the question is where do I put the constructor? I think for now we're just going to have it on its own little platform. 
just for now until I figure out where I'm going to put it. Eventually we will have to use it to make uh, the reinforced beams, or encased industrial beams. That's what they are. Uh, I don't know what else we would need them for down the road, but we'll find out. So, yeah, we'll do that, and then uh, let's get the foundations down if I can. No, I can't. Actually, I probably could. Let me go make some concrete. Okay, now, ideally, I really would want to have it connected to this pad, but it's going to be a while before I can build that, so we're just going to... We're just going to place a couple here, one, two, and three, and it's going to be the same thing. We're going to have a storage container going into a constructor going to another storage container. So then that way we always have some sort of supply or backlog. Oh, I need plates. Hang on. Okay, now I have enough. At least I think I do. Actually, I'm going to be out of rods. That's actually what I need. It was rods. Okay, now I got the rods. So, we'll just go ahead and place this down. Doesn't really matter where it goes. But we'll put it there anyways. And now, constructor. Okay, you can go here. I should to see how much this thing costs. In power, anyway, that is. Uh, let's see here. Constructor. Oh, okay, it's four megawatts. So that's not bad. And then another container. Sure, can overhang the edge. Do I have enough for? I do. Okay, fix that now. Just conveyor it up there to there, there to there, there to there. You are on concrete, and then we need power. Okay, let's see here. Where can I borrow power from? There's actually one up here. I'm going to go grab. Bring it right up to the cliff edge. Let me up. Let me up. And you. I'll bring you to... There. And there. And there. So now we are rolling. We are good to go. I think we are. Is this thing even moving? Yes, it is. All right, let me uh, give me one second here. Okay, I just looked at the time, and I think this is a good, good place to, to call it. So, yeah, we are slowly getting our animation going. We got a steady supply of concrete going, which means we can pave the whole world. Get rid of this, uh, this nasty green stuff. Whatever that stuff is called, you know, the stuff that we that we burn to generate power, right? But yeah, so and then we got we got three stacks of copper coming in. We got let's go see how much iron we have already. Uh, eventually, we're gonna have to get more miners going. We're gonna have to get more smelters going, and we're gonna have to get all that going into constructors, which go into assemblers, which go into the big giant manufacturer. So there we go, three and a half stacks there, and six and a half stacks there. So we are rolling. Uh, power spot, power grid is holding up for now. We are 36, so we're like right on the limit. So before we get anywhere, go any further, we're gonna have to build a biomass burner, which adds another 20, and that's just until we get to coal. But with that, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I will see you in the next one. Later.